The government has issued a two-week ultimatum to developers along the Peshi Lagoon at La here in Accra to pull down all unauthorized structures sitting along buffer zones of the water body. The illegal occupants risk a standoff with task force officials who will be deployed to areas should they fail to move. Several structures have been indiscriminately erected by private developers along the Peshi Lagoon over the years, some serving as scrapyards, provision shops, and mechanical shops. Municipal Chief Executive for La Dade Kotopong, Solomon Kote Nikwe, who toured the area with a team of um, a task force team, sorry, from the La Dade Kotopong and Lejokuku Municipal Assemblies, said the level of encroachment is unacceptable. They are destroying the Peshi, and you can't cheat nature. If you feel it today, it will come back at us. For how long has this been? Oh, I think it's just recently. I think about a month or two ago that they started. They started small, 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 but now it's like it's on a high scale. So what's the way forward? What we are here, uh, Ladma is here, Lekma is here. We have Ayawaso uh, North Two here as a joint operation team. We are asking them to move their containers. We are giving them up to, I mean, the owners. We don't know the owners. We're giving them up to the 30th of this month. Thank you. 30th of this month, we are coming back to this place. Whatever we see here will be destroyed. Amen. And then we'll excavate back the place and then plant trees here. What will happen Amen. to those who have been arrested? Or who will be arrested? Who will we'll prosecute them? We'll take them to court. We'll prosecute them. Because what they are doing, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's against the law. This is a buffer area. It's a buffer area. I mean, we've sold all of that land and now we are taking over the buffer area areas too. We can't cheat nature. If the lands are gone, the lands are gone. Member of Parliament for the area, Rita Odole Soa, who joined the task force for the removal of these illegal structures will pave way for the dredging of the lagoon. Peshi is so choked. And as member of parliament, I raised it on the floor of parliament. The minister for works and housing came and he gave me the assurance that they will come and dredge the Peshi Lagoon. And so with the structures around it, when they are coming to dredge, it will be so difficult. And so I'm happy that today the regional minister has ordered and then the MC for Lek Lekma and Ladma and myself, we are here to support the program. So that when the machines are brought to dredge the Peshi, it will be easy. And you know, um, every structure that comes up needs to obtain permit from the assemblies. Do these structures have permits? So we should find out from the assemblies whether they have given permit to them. If there's no permit, they should invite the people. You invite them, you sit with them, and then let them know that where they are is a wrong area. You know, when this river is there, look at Aqua Safari, look at Royal Sinchi. You know, they have hotels around it. They've created employment for the people. So I believe we can do better things here to create employment for the youth of Dade Kotopo and Teshi. And I believe it's going to help all of us. This is an eyesore and we need to put our acts together, put our shoulders, our shoulders to the wheel and make sure that we push for this thing to be done very well.